Hey guys, for today's video, I'm going to show you guys what all the controls in an excavator do. Gotten a lot of requests for this. I know a lot of you who watch my channel run equipment on a regular basis, so this might not be uh, very good for you guys, but for all you guys who have to sit at home or at a desk all day uh, and you want to rent one of these one day, you'll know how to run it. So here we go. Alright, so these two levers right here work your tracks. So you pull them back, you go backwards, push them forwards, you go forwards. Now, forwards is always towards your blade. Okay, so if I swing around the other way and I hit forwards, I still go towards the blade. So that's something you keep in mind. Um, this machine also has foot pedals so you can use them with your feet. Over here, this is a, obviously a smaller mini excavator. Um, this is how you work the blade. Push it down, it goes down. Pull it up, it goes up. This button right here is your two speed. Uh, just makes the machine go faster when you're traveling distances. Don't really want to use that. Uh, just working around the job site. Um, over here, obviously your key to turn it on. This button is auxiliary hydraulics. Turn that on, a light comes on. Uh, that's what runs the thumb. And that is controlled by this right here. Push it to the left, the thumb comes down. Push it to the right, it comes back up. This is just an information button. You hit this and it'll cycle through job hours, RPM, total hours. Uh, this machine has an auto idle feature. Basically, if you don't touch any of the controls after four seconds, it auto idles. So you can turn that on and off. And your lights. So your gauges, your temperature, and your fuel. Don't run out of fuel, it's bad. Um, okay, so every excavator ha or most new excavators have two control patterns for their joysticks. And these control all the movements of the machine besides the tracks. The two patterns are standard and ISO. I run ISO controls, sometimes people call standard uh, cat controls and ISO deer controls. There's a lot of different names. One's not better than the other. I grew up running a backhoe, um, and that's the control pattern was ISO, and so that's what I've just always run since. Um, now, on every machine, you'll see it'll show you what the controls do. All right, so we'll start with the left control. Push it left, the machine turns and rotates left. Push it right, it rotates right. So left and right is all controlled here. Now if you push it down, the arm goes down. Pull it back, the arm goes up. Now for the right control. If you push it out, just the stick goes out. Pull it in, the stick comes in push it to the left, that curls your bucket, push it to the right, that dumps your bucket. Okay, so those are the controls for ISO. Um, I'm going to switch the controls right now, which on this machine is real easy. Just underneath the seat here, there's a valve, and you turn it and you're switched. Um, one thing I'll show you when you step into the machine is this right, this lever right here. When this is up, nothing on the machine works it's for, uh, for safety. So you get into the machine, you have to have this down. On bigger machines, you'll just, the, this bar will just flip up and flip down and this piece will actually stay stationary but this on this machine it comes up and goes down 
Okay, so now the controls are switched. We're in standard. Uh, left and right do the same thing. Right turns right, left turns left. Now here's the difference. You push it out, the stick goes out. Pull it in, stick comes in. Your right one, you push it down. Now your whole arm goes down. Pull it back, your whole arm goes out, up. And your dumping and scooping are the same. Left to scoop, right to dump. Okay, on this machine, it's a mini excavator, so the boom, the whole boom, can rotate left and right of the house. The house is what we're sitting in. Now, to do that, on this machine, you use this uh, toggle switch here. On some machines, you'll see it on the floor down here or over here. Um, on our older machine, it's down on the floor, but on this one, it's nice. It's up right on the joystick. It doesn't get covered in dirt. So, you push it to the left, and just the whole arm and everything rotates to the left. Push it to the right, goes to the right. Now, down over here is your windshield wiper. nice and then this is also pretty nice it uh, it switches from your boom swing which I just showed you on this switch to your secondary hydraulics now if you've seen any of my other videos you know I have a tilt bucket that goes on here so by switching that this switch now runs the tilt bucket and tilts it left and right I don't have that on right now so I can't show you that but I think you get the picture so it's real nice, you just flip the switch. Um, now there are some triggers on the back of the handles here. If you pull this one, uh, you, it's like a continuous flow of the auxiliary hydraulics. So if you're running a breaker or any attachment like that, you just pull the trigger and it'll run. You pull it again, it'll stop. Uh, this trigger over here is the horn, uh, and over here are all your AC controls, your fan speed, uh, turn the AC on here, heat, cold, and then this is to, you can either draw air from outside or you can recycle the air that's already in here. And uh, that pretty much does it. If you're lucky, you got one of these. But uh, besides that, that's pretty much it, guys. I hope you like it. I know a lot of you wanted to see it.